Online shopping, cooking, browsing the internet, or just doing whatever you can to delay starting that important project are just a few ways that people like Jamie procrastinate. Yeah, yes. <laughs> According to a New York Times article, it has to do with our emotions and not the management. <laughs> See, I'm killing time right now. Oh, I get to make it night right now. She has some ways that you can break this happen and finish task even earlier. What do you do to procrastinate? To be honest, sleep. <laughs> I just like to sleep. But if I'm stressed, I sleep. Watching YouTube or hanging out at the farmer's market. Usually I'll clean. Like I'll clean something instead. I'll like do anything I can except for the big task that I have. According to the Association for Psychology Science, 20% of people are considered chronic procrastinators. So how do we break this habit? Well, you can try the two-minute rule. If you want to fold the laundry, change it to, I will fold a pair of socks. Or if you need to study for that big test, just say, open my notes to start. But if you're feeling forced, do the activity for two minutes only, and then stop immediately to leave you wanting more. Another suggestion, create a detailed list of things you need to do to finish the task. According to a professor from Carleton University, focusing on the next action can calm the nerves. Also, identify your browser bookmarks that take up a lot of your time and put them in a folder to restrict your access to them.